Hello everybody, this is Coding Made Easy, and as I, I said I was going to show you how to download OpenGL and GLUT, but as I was editing, or while I was making my first video, I thought about it and said that I was stating that DirectX is hard because you use Win32, but I didn't just want you to take my word for it, I want you to visual visually see the two differences and how it would look like just coding it not just seeing the code just to look scary I'm actually gonna code the win32 way of creating a window and then if I have time I'll code the way no and later on in the tutorials you might you'll see the way we create a window with OpenGL and you'll see the difference so this is what you'd basically have to do for DirectX so I'm not really going to explain everything in detail because it's a long code and some things are hard to explain. So basically here I'm initializing my variables. Oh man, I can't even type right now. Okay, windows.h include windows and then x.h and then we'd have to make our, our function callback wind proc and then our parameters is to be nd un8 message and then w param and if you really want to know what these really mean then you can search it up on the microsoft website i can leave it in the description if you want um these are just basically things that you need to initialize on win32 132 might look cool, but it's really hard. And then when you have to make your main function, so in this case it's a win main. That's what they use in 132. Then we have to state our parameters. OPSTR. PCMD line. And then int show okay so we just made our main function so then now we have to declare some variables uh, and we're going to name that wc and let's do zero memory and I just erases everything in it I think <laughs> so win class x and then wc.cb size and be you're typing what you just typed above don't really know the reason for this but you gotta do it then the style basically it, the CS stands for clear screen and horizontal redraw so the style how you want to draw and then vertical redraw and then wc.lpfn um, win proc and we just equal to the same function name that we had up here win proc and then wc um, h instance we equal it to the name of our instance variable right here and I don't know what's wrong with that I'll have to figure that out later okay and and then WC uh, H cursor so we have to create a cursor for our window so load underscore cursor and we set this to null and then IDC arrow so we get the basic cursor oh and then this should be one word wc.hbr background I guess this is how the background is displayed or how you color it to the background a window and wc uh, LP S Z class name and we just named the class and we'll name it window class 
and then we have to register the class register class bx and then wc and then our handle so let me scroll down here our handle function is equal to create window ex and then we put null there and then our class name again so let's name it window class again and then the name of our window so I'm going to be like direct no windows window cool name isn't it so windows window then we just put ws overlap the window so it just basically um makes the window overlap over other windows and oh I forgot to put the L it's basically saying that it's a long pointer string then the X and Y so let's see where this which it's drawn to on the screen and then the width and height so let's make it 800 600 and then let's make this no no H instant and no and then we have to show the window so you put our handle function and cmd show and then that basically shows the window oh and that's my cell phone alarm reminding me for something okay now we have to make our, our loop so while true um while as you can see it's taking forever peak message normally it's get message but use peak message for game programming or oh, I forgot one thing message message and then we set this to no zero zero p.m. square remove and then scroll down here and then trans translate message and message dispatch message and message and then we oh this is the part where I forget oh yeah I put if message dot message equals wm underscore quit then break and uh something went wrong here oh sorry I forgot to put that there so normally if we were doing um if we were doing a direct um, X window, we put the render function there, but we don't put anything there. Then we put return message dot w param, and then how we initialize the l result um, function up there. So now we have to put what's inside the function. So l result call back when proc. So we end h of u n d u int message then w param w param l param l param and right now it's down to thirty seven lines so it's not that bad but it just seems so like so much because so much weird typing and stuff like that so in this we put um switch so if you don't know the switches then maybe you should go back to the um beginning tutorials of learning C plus plus so switch case w and destroy and then post quit message I think it is yeah and then return zero just to make it so we turned it and then you put break and then we put return um 
def wind proc and then you just put whatever's in here the name of it put message and then w param l param and I just got a text so I'll cancel for now and I'm not sure what's going on here but that should be the end of the program let me compile it just to see what's the problem uh... let's see they say oh this is a problem so let me just search this up quickly so yep everything oh this is something I forgot to do so I should name this window proc not sure this should make any difference so window proc and window proc and window proc yep and that made a difference there and uh... oh previous instance and then when we compile this code you zoom out here Okay, well, you basically got a window, a blank window. So I move this window up, and it's called the Windows window. And that's how you basically make a window in Win32. And that's the reason why I really don't like DirectX, because of going through all that hassle. Well, it's 45 lines. And if you go with DirectX added into it, I didn't add DirectX into it. So creating a window with direct x direct x added into it, it comes down to 144 lines just to create the window, right? So do you really want to spend all the time typing that all the time? Because you do have to memorize it. It's not a matter of just copying and pasting the code because there's different variations you can do it. So you have to memorize all that code and how to do it. So I really want I really don't want to do that so so just stick with OpenGL and it will and like if you already if you're very skilled at programming then by all means try DirectX because DirectX is good too so whichever one suits you so thanks and bye